Good evening, everyone. This is Michael Tater again with WTR 11. We are live here in Port Clinton where there is a heavy police presence here at East 5th Street and Fulton Street. Uh, all we know from Chief Robert Hickman of Port Clinton Police right now is that they are searching an unoccupied home here on the 500 block of Fulton Street. I'm going to flip the camera and show you the scene here. Now, a sergeant that I spoke to earlier on scene says the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation is also on scene here. They have closed off the area of 4th and Fulton, 6th and Fulton, 5th and Fulton, and also 5th and Washington. Now, this is just right across the street, the home that they are searching from Harley Dilly's family's home. I'll try to zoom in here. That pink light that you can see is the home of Harley Dilly. So it's literally a stone's throw from where they are investigating right now. Lights on in this unoccupied house. Again, if you're just joining me, Chief Hickman with Port Clinton putting out a release just about an hour ago saying that they are searching an unoccupied home here on the 500 block of Fulton Street. Also adding a second sentence in there saying, at this time, Harley Dilly is still considered missing. Now, Harley has been missing since December 20th. That marks 25 days today. Police say he was last seen that Friday morning on his way to school around 6 a.m. Now, up until this point, Chief Hickman has emphasized in a lot of almost every update he's put up on the Port Clinton Facebook page that the family has cooperated with the investigation. The reward is up to almost $20,000 thanks to two more donations this past weekend. There was also a community search organized this past Saturday where organizers and volunteers searched the entire Port Clinton area and even out to Marblehead. Once again, if you're just joining us, Chief Hickman reporting that they are searching along with Ohio BCI, an unoccupied home here on the 500 block of Fulton Street, and also adding that Harley Dilly is still considered missing. A large portion of the community is out here tonight just waiting and praying that they find more information on Harley. Just moments ago, some of the residents banded hands together and said a prayer for Harley. Once again, just hoping to hear good news tonight. Now over here, we have a family friend. What's your name, sir? Austin Rossford from Catawba Island. Okay. And how do you know the family? Uh, I've known the family for a few years. Uh, we, used to, uh, we used to play a game, a uh, mobile game. Uh, that's how I know them. Uh, I know Heather really well. I know Harley really well. Uh, Harley's a good kid. Uh, you know, rumors are rumors. Facebook is Facebook, so you can't believe everything you see. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, just let the police officers do their job and whatever. Uh, they have the final say on everything. Now tell me, how did you learn about what's going on here tonight? And how quickly did you get here? Uh, you know, I was uh, at a friend's house. We were watching TV uh, on the way. She said, hey, uh, they got Fulton Street blocked off, and, uh, and we knew something was up. So mm -hmm. uh, um, my friend, uh, very close to Heather, too, uh, Mrs. Dilly, and, uh, you know, we just uh, were really looking out for Harley, and uh, we just really hope for the best here. Mm -hmm. What, I mean, what has this been like? Just a, It's been 25 days, almost a month. Just what has this been like as a, as a member of the, uh, of the family, a close member of the family, but also just as a member of the poor Clinton community? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, I, I love how I like, like a little brother. Uh, it's, 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 really, it's really tough. I know it might sound weird, but it's, uh, you know, just like anyone else. It's, you know, you're that close to the family. It's, you know, it's almost, it's almost the same, but, you know, it's, just, it's really hard. You know, knowing that he's somewhere out in the cold, and, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. Have you been in contact with the family recently? Uh, very little. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, granted, they need their space and everything. Uh, you know, just try to be respectful of everything, but uh, just here and there. And what's it been like with some of your common friends that you had with Harley? What, how, how have they been holding up? Uh, we're all just trying to stick together. You know, this is a very strong community. Uh, you know, everyone... Uh, everyone is, you know, if you fall down, there's going to be people there to pick you up. That's how strong the community is. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, but overall, it's, uh, everyone is just trying to stay strong, especially for the Dilly family. Mm -hmm. And have you, have you um, helped out? Do you know anyone that's helped out with the community searches that they've held the last two weeks? Uh, yeah, uh, 
there's uh, there's been Facebook posts, there's been community outreach, uh, there's a lot of things going on to help Heather and her family. Okay. All right. Anything else you'd like to say, Austin? Uh, Harley, for watching. Uh, just know that we love you and we're praying for you. And we want you home safe. Okay, buddy? Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was Austin. He's a family friend of Holly. He knows Holly personally. Again, I am out here on East 5th and Fulton Street. A large police presence along with the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigations here. They are searching an unoccupied home. I'll turn around right on the corner here of Fulton Street. We are trying to find out the exact address of that home. Um, again, Chief Hickman with Port Clinton Police just saying they are searching an unoccupied home and that at this time, Harley Dilly is still considered missing. A large portion of the community out here tonight in support of Harley, just hoping to find more information. You see some candles there. Just a few moments ago, residents here banding hands together and saying a prayer, just hoping to hear good news about Harley once again, Hawley's been missing 25 days now. The reward for tips to his safe return is now up to nearly $20,000, $19,545 to be exact. I see some of the comments here. Right now, we are going only by what official police sources have given us. We are not putting any speculation to multiple reports that are out on Facebook. None of those are substantiated. Once again, if you guys are just joining us, we are here at the fi on the 500 block of Fulton Street, right near East 5th Street. That is just right across the street from where Harley Dilly lives. Chief Hickman with Port Clinton Police only confirming to us that they are searching an unoccupied home here on the 500 block of Fulton Street. And also adding, at this time, Harley Dilly is still considered missing. Harley has been missing since December 20th. That marks 25 days today. The reward for tips to his safe return home is now up to nearly $20,000. Just this past weekend, the community banded together for a community search, which canvassed all of Port Clinton and even into nearby Marblehead. Most of the community out here just praying for good news about Harley.
Lord Jesus, we come to you now and pray that Harley is safe. Lord, hold him close in your arms and let him be okay. We are all here as a community to support and find the true fact and hopefully find Harley alive in our rights. And I know I get everybody else to go in.
Jesus, let Harley be safe. Bring him back to us. We're all here as a community, praying, watching, waiting for an update to get answers. Let nothing be wrong. Let him be found. I know everyone else feels the same, so I'm speaking for all of us. Once again, if you're just tuning in, this is Michael Tater with WTOL 11. We are here in Port Clinton, where there is a large police presence on the 500 block of Fulton Street. Port Clinton police confirming Ohio BCI is on scene here investigating an unoccupied home here on the 500 block of Fulton Street. Chief Hickman with Port Clinton police saying Harley Dilly is at this time still considered missing. I will show you. A large part of the community is out here tonight just looking for answers, hoping and praying for good news on Harley Dilly. Just moments ago, the community holding hands and creating a heart out of some candles they lit, offering prayers for positive updates in this case. Sorry. I'm sorry. You're good. You're fine. Yeah, I just. I'm sorry. 
got my whole belief about what happened. I think the parents were told me about it. Once again, everyone, we are on the 500 block of Fulton Street at the cross intersection of East 5th Street. Now, this is just a block away from where Harley Dilly lives. Chief Hickman from Port Clinton Police confirming that Port Clinton Police, along with Ohio BCI, are investigating an unoccupied home here at the 500 block of Fulton Street and also confirming to us that at this time, Harley Dilly is still considered missing. Please stay with us on air, on our Facebook page, and on our WTO app for the latest updates on this developing story.